In the Titanic fandom, people have been debating for a long, long time whether or not Jack could have survived after the ship sank. We've all seen the heated arguments on Twitter, and all fans want is a definite answer. Well, they have it now. James Cameron opened up and let everyone know that there was no way Jack could have survived. Let's get into this and what Cameron said about Kate and Leo. First up, what did James Cameron say? Over two decades later, James Cameron says that it has been scientifically proven that Leo DiCaprio's Jack Dawson would not have made it out alive after the famous floating door scene. The director took some big steps to finally put the conspiracy theory to rest. He went as far as to commission a scientific study so that this was over once and for all, and nobody would dare question the whole thing again. In an interview with Post Media, he talked about the detailed forensic investigation, which which was conducted. According to Cameron, this was a proper study with a hypothermia specialist who replicated the raft from the film. They tested to determine if two stunt individuals with the same body mass as Kate and Leo could have survived using a number of ways before putting them in cold water and installing sensors all over and inside them. The results showed that both couldn't survive. Only one could have survived. When Titanic is re-released in February, National Geographic will air the study's findings. Ever since the movie's 1997 debut, there has been a lot of debate about Jack's fate. Fans took any chance to say that he could have stayed with Rose on the door and makeshift raft, and the two of them would have survived and lived happily ever after. Rose manages to escape the tragic sinking of the doomed ocean liner by clambering up a wooden panel, while Jack dies in the icy water from hypothermia. Now, what else did James Cameron say? Cameron discussed the whole ordeal in more detail in the interview, saying that Jack had to die in order to advance the plot. He said Jack and Rose's love story reminds him of Romeo and Juliet. After all, Titanic is a movie about mortality, love, and sacrifice. How much someone is willing to sacrifice and give up is a measure of their love in Titanic. Jack was so in love that he gave up his life for Rose. Before being surpassed by James Cameron's 2009 blockbuster Avatar, Titanic was the highest grossing movie of all time when it was released in 1997. Next, some more things the director has said in the past about this debate. The argument has long been a source of irritation for Cameron, who once referred to the whole thing as dumb in an interview with BBC Radio 1. Of course, it didn't help when the star of the movie, Kate Winslet claimed that Jack could have actually fitted on that bit of door in an interview with Jimmy Kimmel in 2016. As for what James Cameron thinks, Romeo might have been wise and refrained from ingesting the poison. Yes, could he have chosen against bringing his small blade out of fear that Juliet could use it to harm herself? Absolutely, yes, the idea is kind of missed. We have to agree, he does have a point. In order to promote his newest movie, Avatar The Way of Water, which transports viewers back to the imagined continent of Pandora and is home to the blue alien race known as the Na'vi, Cameron spoke with the Toronto Star about this whole thing. According to Box Office Mojo, having made over $2.8 billion worldwide, James Cameron's original Avatar continues to hold the record for the highest grossing film of all time. The third is Titanic. Coming up, what does James Cameron have to say? about Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. It's been a quarter of a century since Titanic first hit the screens. Time really flies. It ended up being one of the highest grossing films ever made after its 1997 debut. Director James Cameron, 68, recently told Deadline that he can't imagine the movie without its two main actors, Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. James took a trip down memory lane in the interview and remembered how he chose these two brilliant actors for the role. Apparently, it didn't go super smoothly. He said he had to fight for Leo because the company didn't want him. At that point, though, Kate Winslet really liked him and wanted him to co-star next to her. But DiCaprio decided that he didn't want to make the movie at all. Because Cameron realized they'd make a great on-screen pair, he had to persuade Leo. In the interview, Cameron spilled all the details, saying that if DiCaprio had chosen 
not to take on the role of Jack, or if other events surrounding the production had been different, Titanic wouldn't have been that film. 25 years later, we have to agree, Titanic definitely would not have been the huge, timeless blockbuster movie it is now if things were even slightly different. James Cameron talked more about the casting in the interview, saying that if even one of the many details in the movie's casting were different, it wouldn't have been the same. He even went on to add that the movie would not have been the same without the two of them. Now, what else did he say in the interview? The Oscar-winning director went on to talk about how there's a fragility to the whole process of making a movie and a fragility to success. If even one thing is done slightly different, things won't be the same. The casting of Leonardo DiCaprio as Jack for Titanic, which nearly failed due to the actor's unprofessional attitude during auditions, was discussed by the director in a video career retrospective for GQ, which came out in November. Cameron introduced the situation by talking about a meeting with Oscar-winning actor Leonardo DiCaprio, saying that a screen test would follow the meeting. This wasn't any other meeting, though, James recalled. It was weirdly amusing for the director, because when he turned to glance around, he was shocked. This was because all the female employees in the office were dying to meet DiCaprio. This whole thing was really funny to the director of the film. As you can imagine, DiCaprio charmed everybody at the first meeting. It wasn't smooth sailing after that, because when he was asked back for a read with Winslet, who had already been cast, there was a bit of conflict on set. James said that Leonardo DiCaprio came back a few days after the initial meeting, but he was under the impression that they wouldn't be tested for the movie. He thought he was just meeting Kate Winslet. Next, more about how the screen test went. After the director told him to go in front of the camera and screen test, Leo was least interested in the test, saying he didn't do that. Cameron said that he shook his hands, saying thanks for stopping by. Apparently, Leo was very confused, saying, wait, wait, wait. The young actor seemed to be shocked that he wouldn't get the part if he didn't read on that test. Cameron responded by saying that Leo was going to be away doing five other things while he spent two whole years working on this huge movie, and he didn't want to mess it up by choosing the wrong cast. The director had a read or you won't get the part policy, which is pretty fair. Before the camera started rolling, DiCaprio resisted reading and was angry, according to Cameron. But as soon as he gave the okay to read, DiCaprio turned into Jack. The director remarked, Kate just lit up. Up, and they played the scene. At the domestic box office, Titanic is presently the eighth highest grossing film of all time. Maverick, the fifth highest grossing movie of all time, overtook Titanic in August. Moving on, Cameron isn't the only cast and crew member from the movie who spoke up about Titanic recently. Following the release of the longtime Hollywood hit, Titanic, actress Kate Winslet has spoken out about the body shaming she experienced from Borg borderline abusive fans. The 47-year-old actress lashed out at the abuse she endured from certain fans who thought she was too fat while she struggled with feeling very insecure. Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio appeared in James Cameron's 1997 film titled after and based on the RMS Titanic, the cruise ship that tragically sank in 1912 after colliding with an iceberg. In one of the movie's last sequences, she and Leo's character Jack can be seen in the sea together, where her character Rose is climbing onto floating debris after the boat capsizes. In a recent episode of the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast, she mentioned the criticisms voiced by movie buffs regarding that crucial sequence, saying, Apparently, I was too big. She looks back in regret, saying that to this day, she doesn't understand why everyone treated her so badly and villainized her. Winslet added that she wasn't even fat at that point. It was just the unrealistic beauty standards. Next up, does Kate regret how she reacted? The actress said on the podcast that she wished she had answered back at the time to the offensive remarks. She said her response would have been along the lines of telling people not to dare treat her that way. They don't have any right to make it any more difficult than it already is as a young woman whose body is constantly changing. Kate also said that she felt afraid. Finally, 
some more news about the film's cast. Kate Winslet also recently talked about whether or not she will watch Titanic again for its 25th anniversary. She said she probably will. Even though she's not too fond of re-watching movies she's starred in, Winslet also opened up about the 25-year period and how people are constantly talking about it. She said that it was actually longer for the cast and crew. She said that she's 47 now and was 21 when we were making the movie. This means it was half her lifetime ago. Kate Winslet also talked about how great and incredible it is to be a part of a project like that. It's such a nostalgic movie for so many people and has so much power over two decades later. It's a huge honor for her considering that people still love something that was made so many years ago. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of James Cameron's scientific study? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.